Hey, Angela. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting the Latina Safe House and this beautiful brewery. My name is Erin Bear. If you recognize me, I was actually on the news this morning for CBS 4, and they were allowing me to share my story of being a survivor of domestic violence and sexual assault. I um, moved out here in Colorado in 2008, and I was working for a wonderful company at the time. It was my dream job. I quickly found a guy and got into a relationship with him. Before I knew it, he was moving into my apartment without my consent. Soon after, he started beating me, assaulting me mentally, emotionally, physically. It eventually led to a rape in the apartment that I was with, uh, living with him in. We got kicked out of that apartment. I ended up moving into a different apartment. He followed, unfortunately. Um, fast forward a few months and I lost my job. Instead of my employer supporting me, they brought me to the office. They said, we know you're being abused. Even if you deny it, we're letting you go. That is the last thing you should do to a victim of domestic violence. Help them, listen to them. Even if they're in denial about the situation. So I lost my job. I quickly looked for another job because I was a sole provider. I was experiencing financial abuse. I was providing for both of us. He would gamble all the money away that he earned, and I was the one to provide. And in January of 2009, you know how they say a woman flips out? She snaps, she went crazy. That was me. I snapped, and I went crazy. I came home, I turned a corner, and he was gambling money away once again. I kicked him out, and I said, get out. Fortunately, I called a friend, but before that friend arrived at the apartment, I got my last severe beating. It could have been the last one, which means I could have died. Domestic violence is something that we really need to turn the blinders away from and look straight in the eye. It's not something. The way I got out of it was through a police officer that came to my door to get the cats, and she looked at me, and she said, where did these crimes take place? Right then and there, I was like, what are you talking about? Crimes, just take the cats. It was that point where she said, you're one lucky lady, you could have been killed. You're fortunate to be alive today and we're pressing charges against this man. I didn't want them to. It's something scary when you're going through an abusive relationship and then you finally want the police officers to be involved. You don't want anybody to know about that. You just want to go on with your life to pretend it never happened. But the problem is it happens and the scars run deep. You're, ch you're forever changed. You're never the same person. I was only 25 years old to 26 years old when this happened. This happened 11 years ago. It still affects my intimate relationships today. That man was convicted. He served one day in jail, one day. And he got 35 hours of anger management. He was able to convince the judge that he didn't know he had to follow through with his anger management when his probation officer was out of town. So he got away with it. That man still lives in this area, somewhere, and I don't care. He's a monster. He has a record, and that's fine. But as a community, as a society, as men and as women, we need to come together and we need to stand up and we need to bring our voices together. Because when we do that, we become louder and we can't be ignored. And that's when change will happen. I promised myself the day that I got restitution, and let me remind you, I was 18,000 in debt because of this man. $18,000. I got a restitution check one day in the year of 2010. Anybody want to take a guess how much money? $1,000. $1,000 saying, hey, I'm sorry that you got beat. I'm sorry that you almost died. And I'm sorry that you got raped. $1,000 is what I was worth. To me, that would never make what he did okay, period. But I stand here today debt free. I stand today as a strong and empowered woman. And I stand today with the fight with Latina Safe House, Family Tree, Zero Tolerance, Tiffany Nickel, to tell you enough is enough. And we together can make a difference in our community. It starts with us. It starts by working with the organizations and telling stories, not false stories. And when a victim says, hey, I'm being abused, or he thinks that I shouldn't go hang out with him to, with you tonight. Listen, those are signs. Look at the red flags. And when they come to you and they want help, don't turn your back on them. 
Don't judge me. What do you need? Be there for them. Don't re-victimize the victim. That's the hardest problem that we have today, is people are getting victimized over and over and over again. So, by me telling my story, going on the news, coming to events like this, and sharing it, gives you awareness of what's really going on. I'm not ashamed of what happened to me. I'm actually proud that it happened because now I can be the voice for so many. And for us to come together and fight domestic violence and end it. So I ask that you donate to Safe House, Latina, Latina Safe House, to organizations, whenever we say, hey, can you help us out? Because that's the only way it's gonna happen. I actually wrote my book, it's called From Beaten to Badass. Part of the proceeds will go back to those impacted by domestic violence and sexual assault. It just came out last Friday, it's for sale today. Any of the proceeds from that will go back to Latina Safe House. It's an incredible story, but it's a true story. And it's about my journey of broken blessings and how I became my own hero. But I couldn't have became, became my own hero without organizations that helped me see what was going on, without friends and guides that led me along the way and said, hey, there's a problem. You need help. You're worth it. It's not that I'm good enough, I'm just simply enough. And so is every other woman and man that's been affected by domestic violence. So with that, thank you for paying attention. And please join us in bringing awareness to domestic violence and sexual assault and any other type of abuse that may happen. Thank you.